Okay, today we're going to be following the blog post Top 50 GG Plot Visualizations, which will be linked below. And by the end of this video, you will be able to make this plot. A reminder this is all information I found online. I am reusing their script, but I'm going to explain it for you to understand how to use it as well. Hello guys, I'm very excited to go through this plot with you guys today as we're going to be able to take a ggplot with demographic data and animate it in the form of a GIF file or GIF file. So what you'll need to install is ggplot if you haven't already, but more specifically you'll need ggAnimate, which is the animation process, Gapminder, which is the demographic data of global uh, population, life expectancy, and GDP per capita between the years 1950 and 2010. You're going to also need the, imp the package animation, GIFSKI, which will allow you to make the, the GIF package or GIF, and the magic package. Once you have those installed, load them in your library. And now we can create our plot. We're going to put all of this ggplot into a variable called p for plot. You can name that whatever you'd like, but more importantly is what's going on over here. We're using the data gap, gap minder, and the aesthetics are gonna be your x being GDP per capita, and your y being life expectancy. Now we know the range of time is from 1950 to 2010, so how are we gonna capture that in motion? Well, then you're gonna do the frame, so the frame rate of change equals the year. So this way we're gonna see the change of life expectancy based on GDP per capita between 1950 and 2010. But how are we going to delineate which continent or country there is? Well, there are a lot of countries across all the continents, so to save that, we're going to just color it by continent. And the size of our dot is going to be based on population, and that will also change over time. We're doing a point plot, alpha set to 0 0.7, so this adds the scatter plot with transparency. As we are moving, you don't want overlapping points to blur out or completely cover other points. So making your alpha 0 0.07, or, no, not 0 0.07, 0 0.7, means it's going to be 70% opaque. So you're going to still be able to see through it a little bit, but you're going to be able to see what's behind it. The transition time is going to be the year, which is in addition to your frame rate being the year. And now we need to do a log scale, because this way we can animate it over time. I'm changing the color to Veritas for a colorblind friendly palette. We're going to do scale size continuous, range C is 1 to 10. So this is adjusting the size range for population. We're going to label, title equals year, and then these soft brackets allow it to change based on frame time. So the year is going to show, and then this indicates, based on the frame, the year is going to change here. So it's going to say year, and it'll start in 1950, and it will progress to 2010 based on these soft brackets. Theme is minimal for better visibility, and our guides are going to say size equals none. Okay. We bin that into plot P. Now, in order to see it animated, you need to do the animate function, calling on P, which we just made, and then you need renderer equals gifski underscore renderer. Your width and height shows the range of the X and Y axis, or the size that you want your plot to be. The resolution is 100, and that way you can create your plot. Look at here. You have created a GIF from a GG plot on a log scale of GDP per capita by life expectancy. Colors are based on continent, and you can see the change over time. You can see most things are trending upward with life expectancy, with occasional drops based on GDP per capita driving this. Which kind of makes sense because sometimes you see life expectancy increase in more affluent countries, whereas others are less so the case. And this is going to keep cycling over and over and over. Now, 
how can we export this in this format for us to see? Well, let's go through that. Now you need to do animation save. Pick your direct pathway to whatever folder you want it. Make sure it's in quotes and forward slashes. I'm calling it animation3. The file format is a GIF or GIF. And then you need to put a comma. Animate. And everything that you just did up here goes here. So you have your file path. And you're animating the plot. Otherwise, it'll just be a still plot of a single frame within this GIF. So doing so allows us to save this animation. And now you're able to use this functionally in a PowerPoint, in maybe an online version of your manuscript. And this will make your data a lot more uh, engaging. And you can put a lot more work and concise amount of data into a single plot without needing to bog down your manuscript and we all know limitations of uh, journals on space and number of figures provided so this is a really good way to put some literal motion into your data to catch the eye okay stick around next week where we start digging into histograms and box plots